Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I hope you stay. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is kelly and on this channel i love to do videos about fragrances so if that is something that you're interested in please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell down below so that you never miss any of my uploads and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning to another one of my videos i really do appreciate it so so much if you do end up enjoying this video please leave me a like it really does help my channel a lot and drop a comment down below if you are you chat. guys so let's jump right into today's video today's video is going to be a perfume haul i'm super excited about this perfume haul i just most of these i just blind bought well yeah all of these i just blind bought um i just literally went on fragrance net and purchased some perfumes then i have one from victoria's secrets and then i have one from ross and then i have three that were sent to me by brands but i'm gonna share all of them to you because they're all new to my collection so let's get right, you guys right. so let's start with the fragrance net ones first so the first one that i got was moschino toy 2 i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard about this fragrance because a lot of people have this fragrance already but i didn't so i had to grab it and i am just in love with how cute the bottle is like i know you guys have seen these bottles already but they're super cute so yeah i got this one and I just want some more spring fragrances because since I'm a person that I love heavy, like super strong beast mode fragrances, my collection has a lot of um, beast mode, super strong fragrances. So I do need to get a few more like lighter fragrances um, that I can use, you know, easily for the spring and summer. So I felt like this one was going to be that and it definitely is. This is the fragrance that I'm wearing tonight. It's so good. It's like a fresh, it's just like a really beautiful, kind of clean, kind of fruity, a tad bit sweet. It's just so nice. It's just like a really clean, can't go wrong with it scent. It smells very feminine, clean at the same time. It's like a little bit floral, like a mixture of like a fruity floral with like a lot of like clean and fresh so yeah i really like it it smells really nice it's like an easy reach super easy fragrance to wear and that's what i need i need some like more just easy throw on fragrances because like i said i like beast mode fragrances strong amber patchouli just strong vanillas and all of that so i need some like layer fragrances and this is really nice i like it so yeah, this one is the Moschino Toy. All right, you guys, the next one that I got was Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden. And I don't know, but the name is so deceiving because it does not smell like a garden. Um, Thank God. The only, reason why I the only reason why I blind bought this is because I've seen so many people um really love this fragrance and wear it and do combos with it and stuff like that so i was like it seems like a safe blind buy especially since it has a note of coconut and it has almond and i was like i love coconut i love almond i'm looking for more coconutty um and more nutty fragrances so i was like let me just grab it and see and yeah you guys this one is more of like a creamy fruity kind of tropical fragrance it smells really nice but it has some like depth to it because of that almond and sandalwood in the base it smells really good i haven't worn it on my skin but i did spray it out when i received it earlier and it just smells really nice it's like a really tropical very creamy kind of like tonic um scent a little bit powdery tropical and then it has some like a really smooth and creamy vanilla and sandalwood base i really like it it's kind of like a tropical gourmand which i really love because i love gourmands so i'm happy 
to have another like spring and summer friendly gourmand because it's super nice i like it and just by me looking at the bottle and the name i would have never purchased this so shout out to all of you who wear this and always show it off on instagram and youtube because you guys made me buy this um a lot of you guys because <laughs> a lot of people rave about this one and always wearing it it smells really nice i really like it i see why you guys like it it's super nice i love it if you like coconutty creamy soft kind of like tonic tropical frangipani type of vibe you would love this one super nice you guys i really really do like the next one that i got was this one this is guerlain la petite robe noir intense and honestly i got this because it seems very interesting it has a note of blueberry and i don't have any fragrances in my collection i don't think that have blueberry in it so i really wanted to try it it has blueberry it has cotton candy it has patchouli it just has a lot of interesting notes to me so i wanted to try it and i sprayed this one earlier when i received this in the mail i sprayed it inside the box and as soon as i opened the box it still smells like it this is a pretty strong fragrance i really like the bottle though the bottle is just so cute look at the bottle and with the little dress oh the bottle is just super cute i like the bottle but this fragrance i'm gonna test it and report back to you guys i'm also going to do some updates of like my past hauls so you guys can see how i'm like liking those fragrances if i still have them if i decluttered them all of that so i'm gonna start doing that with all of my hauls so that you guys can see an update you know what i mean to see if it's actually worth your money um so far i like this but it's so it's way stronger than what i thought this is a patchouli bomb if you do not like patchouli you would not like this one let me just say that i didn't expect it to be so patchouli heavy but it is um but you do get that blueberry a lot in the initial spray um i'm gonna test it out like all the way on my skin everything test longevity the scent all of that um but it's very interesting just like my first impression it seems like it's a very like sophisticated well-dressed serious type of fragrance even though that it has cotton candy and it has blueberry and raspberry like kind of playful notes um it's like a serious fragrance to me like it smells like a very sophisticated serious fragrance that you will wear to like important events i don't know but let's see when i wear it and i will report back to you guys the next one that i got you guys is super interesting because it was so affordable it was only like 11 dollars, and when i smelled it girl i said this smells like an expensive fragrance like it truly truly does and this is her golden secret by antonio banderas and this is a big bottle too. It's, a, it's bigger than I expected. I think it's a 3.4 ounce. And this fragrance, you guys. This fragrance is good. I already know it's going to be like one of my go-to fragrances this spring and summer. But I feel like it's an all-year-round fragrance. And I still haven't tested it. I only sprayed it like on my hand earlier. This is what it looks like. This, the bottle is not like the prettiest bottle ever, but the fragrance in this bottle. So this is like a peachy, orange blossom, vanilla, salty fragrance. It reminds me a lot of Paco Rabanne fragrances. Like it smells like something that Paco Rabanne would release. Um, it has like that saltiness, like that salty... I don't know, like Paco Roban DNA in the background. And it also reminds me a lot of a mixture of Olympia, Olympia Aqua, and Juliet has a vibe. Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes. It has like that type of vibe, like that alluring, salty vanilla, kind of sweet scent. It starts off like the first spray is very synthetic. In the first spray, you get like a synthetic pineapple and peach scent, but once it dries down you guys it's just like a trust the process type of fragrance once it dried down on my skin i was like what this smells so good like it has like that salty undertone with like that peach like a tropical 
salty type of fragrance it's so good i can't wait to actually wear it and tell you guys how i feel about it once i wear it on my whole body and clothes and the longevity and stuff like that but so far i think this is a gem like i think this is a gem if you like vanilla if you like orange blossom a little bit of like white florals but not like a powdery obnoxious white floral salt peach pineapple type of vibe you will love this you will like it like it smells nice yeah but trust the process if you get this let me know in the comments down below and let me know once you spray it on your skin um and let it dry down like i love my favorite favorite type of fragrances right next to gourmand fragrances is salty vanillas so and this is a really pretty salty undertone tropical type of fragrance like i like it and for 11 dollars for a big bottle oh this one's 2.7 ounce still for 11 dollars and this smells expensive i'll take it like i'll really take it and i'm about to go back on fragrance net and purchase the rest of the antonio banderas fragrances because if they're as good as this one sign me up for like 11 12 the most like 15 bucks yes sign me up but take my opinion right now with a grain of salt because i haven't really tested it yet this is just like my first impression that's why i'm going to do a update and i'm gonna do updates on my other house too so that you guys can know you know but yeah this one is her golden secret by antonio by yeah, and moving on to the next one this one is called J lust by jlo and i got this one at ross and i want to collect um all of the jlo fragrances in this bottle i have another one it's called J love so when i saw this one um i got it this one is J lust and the bottle is super pretty it's like a muted pink the camera i don't think is doing it justice but it's like a really cute muted pink with like a little snake print on it super cute and this one is like a strawberry kind of powdery a bit fruity and tropical um type of scent it's basically like a tropical strawberry vanilla tonka bean type of scent i like it it's nice i really like it it's like a simple fragrance to wear like around the house or if you're gonna run real quick to like target or walmart whatever something like that just simple easy to wear nothing like out of this world so yeah this one is j lust by right, yes the next one is by victoria's secret and this one is wicked by victoria's secret and i haven't really smelled it yet but it says that the notes are freesia black sugar tahitian vanilla and i smelled it like fast so i haven't really like truly smelt it when i did smell it fast it smelled really good it smelled like a sweet um vanilla brown sugar type of scent like a um vanilla extract type of scent i smell it on the box it smells nice it smells like a nice sugary vanilla type of scent i do want to wear it on my skin and stuff like that because People rave about this one, um, and I had to get it. Like, I had to get it because I was like, you guys make it seem so good. Like, I had to get it. I was influenced by a couple of girlies on um, Instagram, here, on YouTube. On Instagram, it was scent memos and um, feel good things on Instagram. They always post about this one, and I just had to grab it. Um, and I also saw Nicole from the scent closet from here on youtube post this one a while ago too so like i just been seeing it so much and i just had to get it because everyone makes it seem so delicious so i wanted it so i will give you guys an update on this one as well but yeah it smells like a really nice like a really nice basic just like simple um sweet vanilla type of scent so yeah i like it i like it and i got it on sale um with a Victoria's Secret sale so it was very very affordable under $20 probably like $14 or $12 I don't remember 
very affordable i got it for so i'm excited to have it in my collection and try it out oh. as well really quick let's go over some of the ones that got sent to me by brands which i'm so grateful um thanks to you guys i get to receive pr from brands and i love the fact that i can express my opinion freely with these prs like i get to express my opinion freely without having to like lie or anything which i never would but you know what i mean it's like no they just asked me to give my honest opinion on the fragrance and share with you guys like what i think um so that's super cool so i have a review coming soon for the new julia has a gun lust for sun i have a lot of thoughts on this fragrance and if you guys have been watching my videos you guys know i have like strong opinions so and i'm honestly not nervous to share my opinions on fragrances and anything because this is like the fragrance thing for me is for fun is not that deep some people take this way too serious like way too serious it's not that deep it is fragrances it is something super fun and exciting it's an exciting community to be in you get to meet cool people you get to buy and experience different scents and all of that and scents are an experience on their own it's just super cool so i don't know why some people make this so like so serious and like i don't know it can't be me this is fun i take everything lightly when it comes to fragrances because it's never that deep like it's never that deep sis but some people take this way too serious get way too offended for stuff get way too butthurt for someone sharing their opinions and oh, i don't know like some people take this way too serious like i said i don't know i went on a rant i might do a whole video about that like a little rant that i've been having on my mind about the like fragrance and body care and stuff like that community because i have so much to say so let me know in the comments if you'd like to hear like my opinion or i don't know like my little two cents um or like what i have in my head like my little rant you know like nobody probably cares about my rant but if any of you guys want to hear it i'll post it i don't i don't mind anyways i have a lot of opinions about this fragrance and i'm never gonna lie because of the hype of a fragrance never um you guys seen my review with the kiali pistachio gelato um it was just my honest opinion even though i love love the kiali brand i love mona when something is just not it it's not it and it's at the end of the day it's just my opinion like everyone has their own um so i have my own opinions on this i don't know if i should give you guys a spoiler it's not bad but it's not amazing and i'm gonna get more into it when i do the review so stay tuned for this one because this one has been getting a lot of hype and a lot of people are interested in purchasing it um julia has a gun is an amazing house is one of my favorite fragrance houses they have some of the best some of the best fragrances ever i have a lot of favorites from that house um it is just an amazing house like they do quality long lasting scents amazing scents everything smells amazing so yeah i was so excited for this one i got this in the mail spr um from aero perfumes i was excited because it's in a release and i love julia has a gun but yeah you guys this one is supposed to be like a coconut beachy salty white floral type of fragrance um so yeah stay tuned because this same week i posted my review on this one because i've been the testing next it. one is mango skin this one was also sent to me um along with the julia has a vibe one i keep saying julia has a vibe along with the julia has a gun one and i am in love with this scent like this could be my signature scent i feel like i love this it's such like a happy scent for me if you haven't tried this you should get a sample or something because this is good like if you like mango sweet a tad gourmand a tad woody a tad vanilla like oh my god like you are going to love this this is not just like a basic mango scent to me to me like i said this is my opinion i love this like i 
love this one mango right, guys and the last one this one was also um a pr package this one is from tama vc and this one's called empyrean i don't know how to say that word right don't come for me you guys you guys know that um my main language is spanish i don't know like i try my best to pronounce certain things but sometimes i can't so don't come for me this is what it looks like it is like the most one of the most stunning bottles it is heavy it is gorgeous it is luxurious look at that just look at it the cap is very like lightweight it's very very lightweight compared to the bottle but it still looks super pretty on the bottle like i personally find this bottle super nice looking super luxurious looking i like it and the juice inside you guys this is like a fruity rose musky vanilla type of scent you guys already know where we're going when we talk about rose musky vanilla fruity type of rose scents yes it does smell similar to delina um in the opening i would say delina exclusive more than delina because i do not like delina it has like a burnt tire scent to me that i hate i don't know if it's the rhubarb in there i don't know what it is but i do not like delina um but i love this one and i did like delina exclusive so because i had a sample of it so and i liked it um so this like the opening reminds me of like delina exclusive and then it dries down way lighter like way way lighter it's not heavy too much it's not way too floral nothing like that it's like a very refreshing feminine rose vanilla type of scent i really do like it so far and i've only worn it like probably like two or three times but i do like it so far it's super nice for when you just want to feel very feminine and cute casual I love it. Like, I really right, do. Guys, like so, that is everything for today's video. That was my haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please don't forget to leave me a like. Leave me a comment on what you think about these fragrances. Are you grabbing any of these fragrances? Do you have any of these fragrances in your collection? How do you like them? Just talk to me in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.